So the way we started implementing meditation into our program um, is we actually had a woman from Australia, Nick, Nikki, come and certify the teachers in yoga for kids, teacher training, initially to get the kids um, more body aware, more body conscious with the yoga. But this amazing thing was happening at the end of yoga was, of course, the relaxation or meditation as we know it. Um, and these really magical things were happening where we were getting two and three year olds able to sit still for five minutes yep. and any parents out there will know that that is, <laughs> that is no small feat. So, um, it obviously takes time and it, and it takes, you know, weekly practice and it takes, it takes patience and, and energy from, from our staff. But, um, what I've found with the younger ones, of course, it's it's amazing to see that they're able to calm themselves and self-soothe, especially outside of the classroom. If we're in the playground, they fall and hurt themselves. We go back to, okay, let's, you know, let's take some breaths together. Let's go back to that breathing and calm down and use those techniques techniques that we've been using in meditation. With the older kids, what I can see in the classroom is they're a lot more calm they're a lot more able to sit through things where normally at the beginning of the year before we get into the yoga practice they get a little bit more agitated they get a little bit more you know they get some ants in their pants but near the end of the year once these kids have been conditioned and, and been exposed to that sort of um that that break that that relaxation at the end of yoga class i see it in different aspects um inside the classroom and outside the classroom with them. And and is that strategically planned out? Like, are you doing this meditation once a day? Is it planned out? Okay, let's say math, that could be quite difficult for children at a young age to concentrate yes. on. So let's do meditation before math. Is that planned out? Um, with the, What we do is in our, in our weekly routine, we do have yoga once a week for them. Okay. But that meditation or those, those breathing techniques, oh, they can be pulled out in, a number of different times throughout the day. Like I said, if they fall down, they get hurt. You know, we go right into that. Okay, let's go. Let's focus on our breath. Um, it, it it can really be used situationally. So if they're if they're just full of energy and they're just a little wild that day, we will get them all to sit down in the middle of a, a letters class, a phonics class. And okay, we all need to just take a minute. We'll sit in silence and we'll just breathe. So um there is the formal meditation at the end of our yoga that happens once a week, but um, the idea of just being able to come back to ourselves, that can be used many, many times throughout our week, depending on where we're at. And um, these kids that are, let's say, joining the school, I'm sure you get kids that join the school from the beginning, let's say age two, three, and they stay till seven, 10, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, what about a, a, a child that's joining at the age of five and introducing them into yoga i mean how do they respond to that are they reluctant reluctant do they do they uh, are they e easily able to dive directly into it do they adapt you know what the way we package yoga for these kids is you know respecting your body um having fun with your friends and and having a moment to express ourselves physically. So it isn't the traditional yoga that, you know, adults would, would know. Um, we do pair it a lot with animal sounds, animal movement, um, you know, things that are in, in and around their world, you know, stretch up tall, like a tree waterfall. So, um, kids are really quick to get on board with that. Even if they're coming in from whatever schooling, maybe they're five and maybe they're coming in from conjunctate or another school system yeah. where they haven't been exposed to that they're really quick to get on board and as i said the group is really important any kid that's coming in that's unsure or never been exposed to this before they're going to look around and see every one of their peers into it and really grooving on it so they're mm. selling it for us i don't really need to do much for full episodes visit our youtube channel fruiting body podcast